My name is Andy Mental. I'm a senior libero. My favorite school subject is sports fitness. My college plans are to go to college and play basketball and major in business and sports management. My fondest memory from playing high school volleyball is playing Fairview for the first time at Fairview. We won in five games and came back in the third game from a 20 to 13 deficit. Well, Olmstead Falls had a great run as far as girls volleyball goes in Northeast Ohio in 2004. And it's my pleasure to bring you here tonight on One Man Show, five young ladies that were an integral part of this year's team's success. With me now is Addie Mental, and a lot of you folks in Olmstead Falls might recognize that name. She's the sister, of course, of Mickey Mental. And how many kids are in that Mental family? Are there more girls and boys coming to play Bulldog sports? Uh, there's three girls and then Mickey, and there's two younger girls than me. How in the world did Mickey survive all these girls in the family? I mean, who won the fights for the bathroom? Uh, he has his own bathroom, and then the girls have their own bathroom. You know, when you introduced yourself at the, at the start of the show uh, to our viewers, Addie, you had mentioned that your position was Libero. Did I say that right? Yeah. And as far as that position goes, correct me if I'm wrong, that's new this season because I hadn't heard of that position in girls' volleyball before this season. What is Libero, and, and what... Uh, type of activity takes place on the floor when you come into the game? Um, the Libero is new this year. They wear a different colored jersey and they can go in for anyone on the floor just for back row and they don't count as a substitution. So you wear a different colored shirt almost like a goalie in soccer then, right? Yeah. How has playing high school volleyball uh, been rewarding for you? How do you think it's changed your life versus if you hadn't played volleyball at all? Um, I think that you like get to know more people and your friends are with you all the time when you like play a sport. How long have you been playing volleyball at Olmstead Falls High School? Um, I've been playing volleyball since I was in fifth grade. As far as your teammates go, and this question's not on the clipboard, and I see you trying to always look ahead here, and don't you girls try to do that either. But um, what, um, what is the one thing about this year's team that uh, you'll remember most, or better yet, which player, 10 years from now, do you think you're going to remember the most that stands out in your mind that you played with this year? Um, I think I'll remember Alex because Alex has been my best friend for like the last three years, and we've played volleyball not only in school but uh, at the club level. As far as uh, club level volleyball goes, later on in the show, we're going to talk with Alex about that and find out some more of the specifics about it because I know there's a lot of parents out there in the audience tonight that uh, maybe are looking to get their young girls into a volleyball program but don't know much about club. We've heard about it at soccer, baseball, basketball, they have club level sports, so we'll find out a little bit more about that here tonight. Um, as far as practice goes, I'm sure with the success this year's team had, the run deep into the regionals, uh, the girls, you and your teammates, you had to practice hard. What was the hardest thing under Coach Moses that um, you had to endure all year long as far as practice goes? Um, I think the hardest was the running. We ran a lot in practice. Thank you very much. That's Addie Mental, one of the five young ladies we're going to speak here with tonight on One Man Show. Hi, I'm Kendra White. I'm a senior middle and outside hitter. My favorite school subject is applied wellness. My college plans are to major in physical therapy and eventually receive my doctorate. My fondest high school memory for volleyball is beating Fairview for the second time at our place. It went five games, and to win that game, we can capture the conference championship. Well, with me now here on One Man Show is Kendra White. She's a middle and outside hitter. She's a senior. Um, does high school volleyball help you as far as your social status goes at the high school level as far as playing varsity sports? Does the student body accept student athletes or are student athletes still looked upon as maybe being jocks? Oh, definitely not. Um, our school has been very supportive of our season and you know we had the cheerleaders making us signs. We had everybody coming up to us throughout the whole season just saying what a great job we were doing, especially when we got into regionals. What was the most difficult adjustment for you moving to the varsity level from junior varsity or maybe the freshman team? Um, well, actually, all three of our seniors this year started off on the freshman team because we only had about seven people come. Wow. Um, so we all moved right from freshman to varsity. And it was difficult, but you just kind of learn to, you know, get with the flow of what's going on at that level of play. Your favorite part of practice and least favorite part of practice. I asked uh, Addie that a minute ago. What are yours? Um, my favorite part of practice has to be the hitting drills. Um, that's why is that? Why is it? The, why are the hitting drills your favorite um, part? 
that's my position, and it's kind of cool to just get up there and hit it really hard. When you say get up there, you mean up to the net? Um, well, I'm not the, the biggest vertical on the team, but just to jump really high and nail it down in the other people's faces. <laughs> oh, you know what, Jim Ryan needs that kind of attitude on the football team. Maybe we, um, you could uh, help him with his camps and clinics with the younger kids over the summer there. Um, when you get into condition to play high school sports, you know, those of us that have played football, basketball, baseball, there's a certain type of regime. You know, again, back to Jim Ryan for a second with a football team here at Olmstead Falls. Plyometrics has been around for a few years now, and a lot of coaches introduce that. But as far as girls volleyball goes, Kendra, what do you have to do, you and your teammates, to get into shape to play volleyball? Because there's a lot of jumping, there's a lot of movement laterally, and there's a lot of strain on ligaments and joints on the human body. Um, our coach had us in a pretty intense workout program this summer. We went through a lot of camps and, you know, very competitive play. And she also had us in the weight room lifting, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We had a pretty intense ab workout. We strengthened our arms and our rotator cuffs and definitely did some leg exercises to get those strong too. Well, now we know how to get in condition for volleyball, but before we get to the next question, you have to also be in condition in the classroom, and that means you have to have good grades. And I'm told by your teammates, Kendra, that you have a pretty high GPA in the classroom. What is that? Um, uh, 4.046. <laughs> I could only dream about that in, in high school. What um, balance do you strike to be able to go to practice? And we're going to talk about this in a second, too, because Kendra plays other sports here at Olmstead Falls High School. But what balance are, do you have to strike to be able to get your homework in, your academics in, so that uh, you can excel so uh, high in the classroom but still also excel on the, the field, the volleyball court, and so forth? Um, I think sports have taught me to prioritize. Um, I know that practice needs to come first, you know, go to practice, and right when I get home, I have to get my studies in and make sure that my grades are up. We mentioned about the grades and the other sports. What other sports do you play here at Olmstead Falls? I know you were telling me, but tell our, our viewers at home here. Um, I play basketball and fast pitch softball. Hi, my name is Kaylee Tyson. I'm a senior setter, and this is our Elite Eight trophy. Um, my favorite subject in school is biology. My future college plans are to go to a four-year college and play volleyball. My fondest high school memory is beating Fairview for the third time and advancing to regionals. Okay, we have our third young lady here tonight on One Man Show, Kaylee Tyson, a senior setter. For our folks at home, what exactly does a setter do in the game of volleyball? Um, they touch the second ball and they set it to their hitters. Now when you say second ball, uh, that would be the second hit after it comes over the net by the opponent, right? Yep. Okay. Continue on. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to um, stop you there. The defense passes the ball or the serve receive passes the ball up to you and then you just feed it to your hitters. Now when you say feed it to your hitters, is that what we would do in a backyard picnic type pickup volleyball game where you do the traditional boop and bump it up? No, you actually use your hands at like the top of your head. I'll tell you what, if you can see yourself there on the camera, just kind of Hold your hands out as to what the hand technique would be for the folks at home. Now, do you have your fingers actually touch one another, or do you have to leave a space? No, you leave a space. You leave I'm, a space. I'm sorry about that. Oh. So you do leave a space. Yep. Now, this type of technique, we talk about setting the ball with the position of your hands like we showed everybody at home there. Is that something you'll work on with Coach Moses and the rest of the girls during practice, or is that something you do in technique you pick up during the summertime at camps and in club ball? Well, both, like... During camps and stuff, you learn it from like the instructional coaches, and then during practices, you like pick it up more. And I'm told that you're a captain on this team too, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the floor captain. How do you get to be floor captain in volleyball? Is that an award that your teammates, where they vote and, and you're picked that way? Well, it's either both like we vote on who the captains are at the beginning of the year, and then the coaches pick. What we want to do, we want to get you in just a little closer so the folks can see you there at home. <laughs> Southwestern Conference champs, that's, that's quite an honor, isn't it? Yes. And as far as the Southwestern Conference goes, which team, which team, now you got to stay with me here, okay? you got to stay with me, Kaylee. Which team in the Southwestern Conference was the toughest opponent for you and your teammates this season? Uh, Fairview. Now, what's important for you to know is that the folks in Fairview are also watching this show. So other than saying just Fairview, what makes Fairview such a tough opponent? 
Um, we match up pretty well with them. Like they have really good hitters and a good setter, and very good defense, and so do we. So it was pretty tough, like beating them, but we pulled through. Hi, my name is Alex Brown. I'm a junior outside hitter. Um, my favorite subject in school is English. My college plans are to major in business advertising. And my fondest memory of high school volleyball is winning five championships. All right, you're watching the special tonight on One Man Show on high school volleyball. And I can't think of a better team to uh, talk about the game of volleyball with than the Olmstead Falls Bulldogs, winners of the Southwestern Conference. Uh, they made it to the final eight as far as the Division II high school volleyball goes. And our fourth young lady here this evening on uh, One Man Show is Alex Brown. She's a junior and an outside hitter. And the reason we have this ball, in a couple of minutes, Alex is going to show us her technique for hitting spikes. But let's set this out of the way here so you don't try to spike one off my head here early on. Alex, um, you and your teammates had a, had a tremendous season. When the year first started and the first practices and conditioning came around, what were the goals of this team? And I think it's safe to assume that you couldn't ask for much more than what the final result was, and that was an undefeated team deep into the season until the final game and quite a bit of hardware to show for all of your hard work. Yeah, um, in the beginning of the season, we all set goals for ourselves and as a team. And all we set about five main goals. One was to win the conference. One was to go to districts. One was not to go to five games with any team. And Did that happen? Did you stay out of five game sets? No. We the first time we went to five games was the first time we played Fairview, and the second time we played Fairview. But we won both, so that was enough to ask. As a junior, and I know the seniors are are probably going to miss it, and they really won't know how much until they're in college next year or they after they graduate high school. But as a junior. Do you see this team improving upon everything that occurred this year? I mean, can you go beyond what you have, and that was the final eight this year in Ohio? Yeah, we all have a lot of experience now, and we know what it's like to get a taste of regionals, and we are going to want like just as much more next year. A lot of your teammates I know have been playing volleyball for quite a few years, and I'm told that you're the expert on this, so I'm going to ask you this question. As far as club volleyball goes, what age is, how young can you start club volleyball, particularly in the Olmstead Falls area, and were you a part of it? And, and kind of tell our viewers at home a little bit about club volleyball, because I, I'm the father of, of a young uh, daughter who is interested in the sport, but I don't know much about how to get her into club. Um, I started when I was 10. And I was on a higher team. I was on a 14s team when I was 10. Well, let me stop you there then real quick. You started when you were 10, but when were you introduced to volleyball then to pick up some of the basic skills? How did you pick that up? Was it just your family teaching you at home, or was there some place you could pick up the basics before you started club at 10? I had two older sisters who both played volleyball. Okay. And they probably pretty much got me into it. Now, does that work much like you would figure club ball would for soccer? I mean, is there traveling teams, and, and how does that work? Yeah, you travel around a lot, and I th you get to experience a lot and be meet new people from different places. It's fun. You, uh, I'm told, um, um, were only the ninth player overall in Olmstead Falls um, high school volleyball history to be selected as an All-State player. Uh, you were second team All-State. How special is that for you? And I'm sure you have to be excited about maybe taking that to the next level, taking that two away from that designation and making All-State. Yeah, um, I was really uh, surprised that I got that, being only a junior, but I'm definitely happy about it. Now, you're pretty tall. I think you're, what would you say, you're about 5'9", five, 5'10"? Five, yeah. Coach Moses was telling me that uh, your team really wasn't the tallest team in the Southwestern Conference this season. Um, Avon Lake and Bay were. As an outside hitter, what problems did that present to you, and how did you overcome them hitting against girls that were – you know, six foot, I, Coach uh, Moses was telling us uh, off camera that Avon Lake, I think, fielded four six-footers on the court. How does that change your game at all, and how did you adjust to be able to still have success against taller opponents? Um, well, even though we were short, we were still a stronger team, and we had high vertical, so height didn't really matter, and we'd swing hard, hit through the blocks and stuff. Make sure you look at the folks at home. I know you're looking at your teammates over there, too, but that's the smile everybody at home wants to see. And... Um, as far as the vertical, what Alex is talking about is how high you can jump 
is if picture you know Michael Jordan people talk about his vertical leap um, how do you condition to build that jump and how high can you jump and your teammates jump on average as far as high school volleyball player goes players go when we talk about vertical how high are we talking um, about 22 inches is a pretty good vertical can you jump 22 inches vertically? Yes. <laughs> and you're not on the track team high jumping, though, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you play basketball here at Olmstead Falls? No, I did my freshman year, but I retired. You retired with a 22 with a 22 inch <laughs> vertical leap. You retire as a freshman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're killing me here, Alex. You're <laughs> killing me. What other sport do you think volleyball reminds you of the most? Um, probably tennis. And why is that? Well, they both have rallies, and they both are really competitive and serving pretty much the same, only a smaller What we're going to do rally. here, folks, um, since Alex um, had great success, in fact, how many points, how many kills did you have this year? Um, about 376 <whistles> kills. In just one season? Yeah. Wow. With that kind of success, you have to show us your technique. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Alex demonstrate her technique as far as what um, the setup of the ball looks like and how she strikes the ball. So if you'll bear with me here, we'll reposition our camera, and you can show the folks at home what runs through your mind and kind of walk a slow motion through how you hit the ball. Okay. In case you're wondering what this banner is behind us here, we're going to get a shot before the end of the show. Uh, it says regional final. It still has the date on there, Saturday, November 6th. It has all the girls' names, district champs, 26-0. and 0. We'll get a nice full-color shot of that because one thing for sure at Olmstead Falls High School, they do it upright with the support both by the, the student body and the parents and with the banners and everything. Anytime you come into the cafeteria area where we're at here tonight or anywhere within the school, there's always a lot of school spirit. But right now we're going to have um, Alex Brown show us her technique as to how she hits the ball and what made her so successful this season. Okay, Alex, the floor is all yours. All right. Well, first, for things first, you need to, what hand you hit with, the ball needs to be high enough so you can get your other hand right on top of it and just flick your wrist and bring it down. And you need to get in sync with your, your, your footwork and your arm swing. Well, first stop, you need to figure out what hand you're going to hit with. And there are different steps for both right and left. There, for, if you're right-handed, you're going to go left, right, left, and then jump and swing. And it's opposite if you're left-handed. So, can I go full swing now? Oh, well, by all means, go right ahead. Let's go full swing and see how you do this here. Right. Don't break anything. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Amanda Paydock. I am a junior middle hitter. My favorite school subject is photography. My college plans are undecided right now. My fondest memory from high school volleyball is being undefeated and joining the Elite Eight. You're watching One Man Show this evening. I'm your host, Z Zoltai. Thank you for joining us. We have our fifth and final player here now at our table at Olmstead Falls High School. If you just tuned in, we're focusing on the Bulldogs uh, girls volleyball program, which went 26-0 until the uh, regional championship game, I believe it was, just a step shy of uh, the final four, but nonetheless to be one of the final eight girls volleyball teams uh, in Ohio is a memory that... Um, you'll keep forever. And Amanda Paydock on my left, you're only a junior. You're going to get a chance to improve upon this year's success next season. How much are you looking forward to doing that? And do you think that there'll be pressure on you next year to do one better than you and your teammates and the seniors this year, uh, all the things they accomplished? We have a lot of returning varsity players. So um, if we continue playing like how we've been playing and just make the adjustments by fulfilling um, our senior shoes, then we should do well and continue on next year. How long have you been playing um, volleyball in the Olmstead Falls system? I know I think I asked uh, maybe Addie that earlier in the show. Um, I started in eighth grade, and I've been playing ever since. Um, my younger sister had played, and it kind of got me looking at it, but I never really paid attention to it. And then I got into it, and I really enjoyed it. Um, you mentioned um, when you started. What could you give as far as advice to the younger viewers out there, you know, the girls maybe that are 8, 9, 10 years old, and even, you know, the young men out there getting interested, involved in the game of volleyball, what can they do to develop their skills at an early age? Um, the varsity volleyball players do camps and stuff for the younger kids, and um, I think it starts at even third grade where they can get into it, and um, we coach them, and they're able to use all the skills that we teach them and get better as the years go on. 
off camera, we were kind of kidding with you and your teammates uh, about the different things you did as a group, as a team. Um, team aerobics, though, I'm fascinated at that. What was that like, and how many of your teammates did okay at aerobics, and others just maybe looked like uh, elephants with five legs? Um, we all had a workout that we stuck with all summer, and um, it helped us out so much during the season, and we were able to... Um, jump high and move around and stay into the game without losing our breath and getting tired. Had you done that before as a sophomore and as a freshman in this program? Yeah, it's always been um, a thing where workouts were something that everyone participated in, so we were able to be ready for the season. It's always nice when the student athletes in our viewing area can participate in community functions outside of the fields and the gymnasiums. and. Um, Amanda, you and your teammates did something really special this past year, uh, the Nehemiah Mission, where you painted the entire gymnasium. Tell our folks at home uh, what that experience was like for you and the other girls on the team and what you came away with from that experience and maybe uh, who was the craziest that took the paint roller to the back of someone's shirt first? Um, we had a lot of fun with it, and it was nice knowing that we were helping out someone who wanted to make a place better for kids to go to and have fun. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, though. We took paint and kind of painted each other along with the rest of the gym. But, yeah, we all kind of painted each other. So, Who got the messiest of, uh, of the five of you here tonight that were on One Man Show? That, um, who was the messiest? Who had the most paint on them? Whoa, wait a minute. It looks like everybody's raised. It was Kaylee. Was it Kaylee? Uh, yeah, Kaylee, we got her pretty well. <laughs> we just took the rollers and kind of rolled her down and splashed paint all over. I guess that's what you get for being uh, the floor captain on the team. Um, you know, to make a team, you have to work hard, you have to practice, but a lot of times when there's a lot of girls out, there's cuts. What happens after cuts here with the Olmstead Falls volleyball program? There's some sort of rituals that take places there? Yeah, um, we call it first 24 hours. Um, right after the cuts that night, we all come back to the high school and spend the night, and we do a bunch of different activities where we either do some kind of like art, arts and craft time type of thing, and um, then we just like, play games and just kind of hang out and get to know each other a little bit better. How many letters have you earned in varsity sports here at uh, Olmstead Falls High School, Amanda? Um, last year I earned varsity letters in volleyball, softball, and basketball, and this year I earned another volleyball letter. But you were telling me you're not going out for basketball. Uh, no, that's correct. <laughs> oh, you have to be killing the basketball coaches here with a ladies program at Olmstead Falls. You and uh, your teammate there, um, I think it was Alex. Was it Al Yeah, it was Alex that uh, played as a freshman. Now you're not going out now. Why is it? You guys, I understand the juniors, you know, uh, Coach Moses tells me the juniors, you girls, are the biggest leapers. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of work and three seasons, especially for me, is kind of rough, so... I wanted to get rid of one of them just so I could have a break. You able to strike that fine balance that we talked to one of your teammates earlier about between the classroom, practice, and getting everything done, everything fit into the day? Oh, now I'm seeing some reactions from the rest of your teammates over there. Um, it could be better. <laughs> <laughs> and then lastly here, um, in addition to going 26-0 and right up until the regional championship game, which was your only loss this season, um, you and your Lady Bulldogs uh, played in a couple of tournaments and classics, and the plaque I hold in my hand here now uh, is the Olmstead Falls High School Autumn Classic Volleyball Tournament. You were champions. Tell us a little bit about this and how special um, this was to win this, this tournament here. Um, this tournament is uh, a tournament that Olmstead Falls High School hosts every year, and uh, it's just a bunch of different teams that come here, and it's an all-day activity. we got to bring your, your teammates over here. We're going to talk about I understand that there's, uh, uh, Coach Moses, there's four tournaments or classics that the girls are a part of, right? Five total. Five total. So we, we have the, the Olmstead Falls Classic. Um, why don't we have Kaylee tell us about one of the other five? Uh, we won districts. Got to get down on camera here. Get right down in front so everybody can see you. There you go. Uh, we were the district champions. And uh, outside of district, the next one, we'll go to Eddie Mental next. Um, we also went to the regionals and went into the regional finals and ended up eighth in the state. Okay, that's three. Two more to go. Let's get um, 
Kendra up over here. You're off frame. We got to get you in so the folks at home can see you there. Tell us about the the next tournament. Um, we were SWC champions, which was a big accomplishment for our team this year. Nice. Four ladies so far, four goals. And now we're going to get Alex Brown in here, our junior and second team All State performer, to tell us about the fifth accolade, the fifth tournament of Lady Bulldogs this season. Slide on over here. Uh, get down in front of Amanda if you can. There. Um, and this year we won. We were first in the Cannon Classic, at, which is hosted at Midview. Now, of all of the, the five that you girls have just described, what was your favorites? First, we'll, we'll start here with Addie. Uh, I think that the district was our favorite because we were playing Fairview for the third time, and everyone says that beating a team three times is hard, but we accomplished it. And it is. You're absolutely right. And we'll go to Amanda next. Um, your favorite the, one. Uh, my favorite one was probably districts also. Uh, like Eddie said, everyone had doubt in their mind about beating three teams in a row, and um, but we were able to do that. And the last game for districts, we beat them in four. Okay, we'll get Kaylee to weigh on us here in the back row. Go ahead, Kaylee, tell us. I think my favorite was districts also because we beat Fairview finally in four games. Showed them that we didn't have to take it to five. Hey, you folks at home that are watching in the Fairview Park area, are you getting this here tonight? These girls here, they enjoyed uh, winning those games against you and your Lady Warriors this season. Uh, let's get uh, Kendra here to weigh in on this, too. Your favorite of the five. Um, I, I think the most special might have been the SWC for me, just because it was senior night, and we, that was when we beat Fairview for our second time, and also <laughs> took, it, <laughs> took it to five games. And I think that was special just because that was – Pretty much the last season game for the three of our seniors. Okay, Alex, and then you finally, your favorite uh, of the five uh, tournament wins? Um, mine probably was equally um, the SWC and the district because we beat Fairview both times. And we got to advance like farther into our season, get more wins. We just wanted to say thanks to all the students who came to support us. And we wanted to thank the community for supporting us at all of our games and always being there. We'd like to thank the student body and staff for helping support us throughout our season and providing us with signs and balloons and cupcakes. Our team would like to thank the football team for coming after their dinners to support us. And we'd also like to thank all of our family members that took the time to come and watch us. Beating Fairview for the first time at Fairview, the third, we went to, th <laughs> and this is our uh, runner-up regional play. Look at this one. We call her Barf. Um, she has us doing. <laughs> Why don't we try that again? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, you take this microphone. Okay. I'm going to do a close-up on you. We'll take this opportunity take since out. I have to stop the camera. After. <laughs> 